as individuals we have limited resources our leisure time is limited and so is the cash in our wallet you may choose to ski this choice comes with a cost coming here is kind of expensive especially for students especially all the equipment is like really expensive i mean skiing is like one of the most expensive sports uh, you can do the cost to you of a ski vacation is not only the cost of lift tickets, equipment, dodging and transportation, but also the cost of lost opportunities to do something else. My parents would like me to be going to university. <laughs> Either watching cartoons or ideally studying. <laughs> oh, you mean the opportunity costs? I could have been, uh, I could have stayed at home and uh, did uh, my homework or study a lot. I should probably be in college right now, but I'm... I'm a, on an extended study break. Opportunity cost applies to all decisions we make, not just leisure. We'll look at three suggested solutions to the problem of externalities. First one is known as the Coase theorem. Ronald Coase argued that under certain conditions, markets can still deal with the problem of externalities. Making sense of economics is a complete course in economics for first year university and advanced high school students. It makes economics accessible by providing real world examples filmed across the globe, bringing economics to life. The farmer has a fixed amount of land. So what's the size of the farm in terms of the number of animals we're talking about? We're down on the sheep numbers this year. We were running 800 last year. We're down to 600 this year, uh, mostly through lack of uh, profit from the ewes. Um, the dairy cows, we milk about 300 dairy animals. Our main business is uh, dairy production. We are price takers, basically. Um, we're completely in the hands of uh, the supermarkets at the moment and the price we're getting paid has got no relationship at all to the profitability of the end use of the milk. So if farmers are not making a profit milking cows, will they stay in the industry? Rail companies in Europe charge different prices to commuters and students for the same journey. Firms commonly charge different prices for the same product to different customers. This is true in hotels, it's true on airlines, it's true on the railways. People who are traveling are not all paying the same price for the journey. The principle of charging different prices for the same product we call price discrimination. Making Sense of Economics provides the depth of a textbook through the usual diagrams and mathematics. But it goes further by revealing the ways in which economics touches the lives of real people. The, the reason I keep bees is just an interest in the insect and the idea that I might get some honey for uh, my own use or for gifts. If a person plants a garden or has a fruit tree, the bees can uh, make it more productive. I'm interested in how the prices get set. Who decides how much they get paid? Um, it's, not, it's not the settled price. Someone that buys basically tells the price. Do, 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 do you know why these prices vary so much from week to week? Right now there is quite all right price because it's 450 per kilogram. There were prices like 350 when it's really, really low. So the, the difference is quite big. It's from 350 to right now it's 450. That's a, that's a big difference. Economics becomes real relevant and entertaining. I'm on a fairly full EasyJet flight from Budapest to London Gatwick and there's a reason why the flight is so full. If all your costs are fixed the logic is to maximize revenue and maximizing revenue can be done if you can price discriminate and charge different prices for the same flight to different customers. At the extreme, the ideal is to perfectly price discriminate and charge the maximum that each customer will bear. You can't quite get because you don't know the demand curve. You don't know just how much each individual consumer will pay. 
but by charging different prices to different customers, you can get fairly close to it. And this is what EasyJet are about. Making Sense of Economics is a series of 28 one-hour films with hundreds of problem sets and web pages to encompass a complete course. Students may use this to support learning. Teachers may use some or all of the films to enhance in-class or online learning. Each film is modular for easy integration with existing curricula. Making Sense of Economics is available for free. It's funded by a grant from the Savoy Educational Trust, the University of Portsmouth and Streamlearn LLC of Colorado. Additional funding is derived from unobtrusive advertising and sponsorship. This site provides four programs in the series. Opportunity Cost, Perfect Competition, Price Discrimination and Externalities and Public Goods.